All right, boys and girls, it's me again, Jimmy the Fish, aka Opus XPM. Yeah, I just got off work. You can see I have maps on my shirt, sweat. But I clean up the rocks that I got, and let me show you the specimens so you can appreciate them a little bit more. This was the first piece that I found. When I saw this, I knew that I had some, some, um, well, it's, it's chart, right, but it's like flint rock. I mean, real flint, flint, we don't, I don't think there's any in the U.S. I don't know the geographical areas where you can find it. I know in Europe you can, but not in the U.S. for some reason. But, you know, I, I mean, I call them flint regardless. Um, as long as it contains some silica, quartz, it will spark. Um, this is the first one I found. Then I found another piece. And then I found another piece. And then I found another piece. And then I started looking on the outside of it, the color of the outside. And then I found that, I found another piece. And then I found a pole rock. And I was like, okay, inside we have some stuff. And I found this one, this is my favorite. Look at the detail on that rock. I was like, that's shit. That's petrified shit. No, it's not. Not petrified shit. That's the chart Frank Flint. Another one that I like a lot. Little piece. Oh, it's petrified shit. No, it's not. And then you have the one with a lot of. You see a lot of oxidation on it, so I knew it had a lot of mineral mineral content on it. And see the outside, and then. On the inside, not, not the whole rock works, just the parts where it contains the, the right minerals. Um, yes, this one is almost whole, just I chipped that to check it. Yeah, so there's some there. Also, this one, see the inside, this one is whole, this one is a whole rock. I need to break it. So you can see the mineral content on it. This one also a whole rock. This one also the whole thing. Just a little corner that I checked and it sparked. Now this one is a broken piece. This one half rock. See the content inside. Um, this one is another one that I checked. And you can see the oxidation on it. This one, it's a whole rock. You need to break it, chip it out so you can strike it. I strike that corner right there. Again, see the oxidation. There were some that looked the same, but as soon as you break them or you chip them, you see the difference on the inside. This one I also checked it right there. And it's sparked another piece, whole rock. There's the big boys. It's a big one right here. A large one. Look, this one. It's a large one too. This one. Large one. This one also is a one piece large. And then another piece. And then another whole rock. So it's a bunch of them I picked up. I was just walking and I was finding them. I mean, there were a lot of different rocks in there, but I would just look at the colors, and if I would see some chips on it, that it had some kind of mineral content on it that I was looking for, I'll grab it and check it. Um, let's try this one. So you get the spine of the mora. As you can see that this smally one Let's see if I can grab it you can probably do this yeah. so this part there I mean the larger the piece the better because you have a better hold on the rock so you know, just grab the knife 
Это спальня. Hey, chip. But who cares? You find them on the floor, right? And I like this one a lot because he, this one gave me a very nice spark. This one has a lot of mineral content on it. Because this one, every time you strike it, it gets a lot of spark and it doesn't break off as much. So this is my favorite. So I was looking for more of these, but I couldn't find them anymore. So I found this, this little piece there. And this one is similar in color. But those are the only three that I found from this time. And you know, a lot of these ones right here. Yeah, this basically this ones right here. Um, so this one is like the regular, the regular that breaks, that breaks a lot. I mean, you still get the sparks, right? But, um, and then this one, this is the, the whitish ones, um, the lighter color ones, like this one. I didn't find a lot of these either. It was most, mostly this kind. But you can see there. It's a lot of no. these ones are nice too because they spark really well they don't break off as, as, as easy as this one's right here one let's try the outside so you can see the outside is no good yeah it started sparking because I already broke to the surface so the coating on it for well, the covering the first layer is no good right what's underneath it that's that's what causes the spark um, so I like this one but it breaks off that's that's the thing this one this color this it breaks off really easy um, this one also it breaks off really easy it does cause the sparks but it just it just breaks off um, my favorite is this one this this type I mean this one does great spark and and it stays put it doesn't break off a lot this one is my favorite I keep on looking for those next time I come across some of them but there you go that's the find of the day and I got close to what maybe two pounds two pounds of it maybe more South Texas Flint, buddy. South Texas Flint. Um, like this big monster one, I'm gonna break it off into maybe three pieces. Just gonna use a chisel just to try to get it straight. Of course, I'm not gonna get the perfect cut, right? But uh, I'm gonna be careful and just break it slowly until I get the right pieces. Because, you know, the covering's no good, but the inside is good. So, there you go, that's my find. I'm going to be on the lookout because this one was like, I was just walking looking for arrowheads and once I found that one, I was like, okay, I knew that something was up. Um, this, one, one, this one. When I found this one, I was like, that looks like an arrowhead, but it also looks like flint. And I started looking around, you know, this one ticks really easy. Um, as soon as I found this one, I knew that 
it had some uh, some silica in it, and um, and I was like, you know what? There's some 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 chert flint. I you know it's flint. I mean, I know it's chert or some people know it's chert, but for me, it's flint. It sparks, so I call it flint. Um, and I knew that something was up, so I started walking, and I saw one, and I grabbed it and checked it, and it sparked. I like cool because I went right away to get my mower, not this one, but one exactly as this one that I have on my paddy pack. Um, and I started checking them and I started seeing the sparks fly. I was like, oh yeah. So I started just walking the trail. I mean, this was a small little opening, there, like a little road. And you will find one here, one there, one over there. I mean, I checked some other ones, um, but they were not um, the same contents on it. Um, they looked like them, but it wasn't the same. Um, they were like uh, lookalikes, so they didn't work. So I discarded those, so I just kept the ones that, that I tried several times and got a good spark out of them, and um, and I kept them. I, I saved them one by one. It took me, what, like 25 minutes to gather this stuff, and I, and I mean, there was more. Um, I kept, if I would've kept on walking, I would've found more. But I had the box already full, so I was like, you know, that's more than enough. Hopefully, um, if I go to that area again, I'm sweating already. If I go to that area again, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to look for more and, and continue gathering more uh, more uh, flint rock or dirt, whatever you want to call it. But sparking rocks. I'm going to gather more sparking rocks. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.